Hi everyone, welcome back to Pro Tools 101 lessons here at educator.com. This is lesson 12, basic editing techniques. In this lesson, we will learn about setting our playback options and loop playback. We will go over the edit modes and see how we can combine all the edit modes. We will learn standard and specific editing commands. We will learn how to use grid and notch as well create fades, cross fades and look on a few more other editing options. Anytime we add audio or MIDI data to the tracks in our sessions, we are most likely need to do some editing. Whether you improve the arrangement, adjust trimming or smooth the transition. Technically, editing window is most likely uh, where we focus most of the time when we record and edit, of course. Um, there are a couple of things may make uh, selecting and navigation and working on the edit window, especially after certain recording uh, stages are done. Where these are like very important and these some of the tools that we can talk about make the process much easier. One of them is the setting the playback options I would like to begin with. Uh, this is something that uh, we have ha had mentioned before actually, but uh, we have four options basically if you go to the options menu structures. When we go down here we have edit window scrolling option. Basically, if we set this one to scro no scrolling, this is what will happen in our session. I would like to just like play a minute of this song that or another uh, song in a working process at the moment. And uh, it's got a lot of live percussions, another original tune of mine. And now we're going to talk about the playback options quickly. stop it comes back that's because this one is not selected insertion follows playback if I select this one then playhead cursor stop where I stop the session this is a very uh, very very good option if you're working with videos and you need to constantly keep on going and you don't want your playback cursor to set to where you begin all the time however when I do most of my editings and when I don't work with videos, I would like to deselect this. So every time I play the session, it goes back and uh, starts playing back from there. So technically, if you leave as it is, and if I zoom, as you see, my playback cursor leaves the screen. That's because what I've just done here under edit window scrolling, I choose no scrolling. If this was after playback, I would again lose my playback cursor. Then my edit cursor is there, showing me the bar 3. And since this is deselected, as soon as I stop, you think you will go there. But no, it actually shows where it's going. Because after playback is selected. So anytime we go out of the screen, It will show us where it just like recently played, but playback cursor going back and meets with our edit cursor again. Third option, which is my favorite, is the page option. I would like to constantly see uh, my playback cursor. I would like to see where I am in the session. I set up my main ruler right here, bars and beats, and second one, which is the sub ruler uh, in the main counter or with the minutes and seconds. So when I play, I would like to see my playback cursor and at this point, 
page option will take me to the next page. It's a very good option, basically. And then, and every time I start also beginning of the page, that is a good option for us to uh, be able to be able to see and follow the playback cursor at all times. Continuous used to be a HD option, but right now actually we started seeing on the standard versions of Pro Tools too. It's got a very cool look. The whole background of your editing window basically uh, continuously. <laughs> That's basically all our playback options. Find the one that works for you. Basically, there's no right or wrong. You may even like the one uh, with like no scrolling. Maybe if it's working with a certain editing that you're planning on doing, you can choose other than that page is my personal favorite. And I like sometimes working with continuous too. I barely use no scrolling or after probably never use. It's very personal and if you're in a continuous sometimes you may see this area also like all gray no worries it may start the beginning the session in the middle of the screen but as soon as you press on T on the uh, command focus mode to zoom in basically you'll be completely fine on the current selection which is continuous I'll stick with the uh, page at the moment since it's my favorite and I've been using for a long time.